And then at university, I started organizing my own expeditions on a much larger scale to the Himalayas, to the Andes, uh, New Zealand, incredible places um, where we climbed some extraordinary mountains. Uh, perhaps the highlight, I'm going to move around here, of these uh, climbs to date uh, took place in the year 2000, where I led a British team to a country called Kyrgyzstan, which is one of the most random countries on the map. It's sort of north of Afghanistan, left of China. And the great thing about Kyrgyzstan is that until the breakup of the Soviet Union, the mountains in the country were completely off limits to Westerners. And for us, it was a huge thrill to be able to, to climb mountains that essentially no one had ever been up before. And this is us climbing a virgin mountain. And it's the most exhilarating feeling. It's like sort of harking back to those early Victorian days. You've got no guidebooks, no maps or anything. Uh, you've just got to follow your nose and try and work your way up to the top of one of these icy mountains that are part of the big Himalayan chain. Absolutely spectacular. And the great thing as well is that a lot of these mountains, as well as being unclimbed, they don't have names either. They're just spots on the map. And so, you know, in time old tradition, when you get to the top of one of these mountains, you get the honor of being able to name it. And we came up with all sorts of names during the course of our expedition. We named, in fact, this one we climbed on my mother's birthday. So this mountain is now named after mum, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we, uh, we named one after the patron of the expedition, Sir Ranulph Fiennes, uh, possibly this country's greatest ever explorer. Um, one of the guys actually ended up naming a mountain after his cleaning lady back home in the UK. Um, so next time you see a map of Kyrgyzstan, look out for Mount Ethel, because she will, she will be there. <laughs>